Hello, this is Gio, and hey, I'm going to do something I have not done before. I'm going to do a book review. And yes, it's a Reader's Digest book. This is the new Fix-It-Yourself Manual. How to repair, clean, and maintain anything and everything in and around your home. Now, it does say it's new, but this book is actually fairly old. Now, you go here, and it... Uh, it actually looks like it was first published in 1977 and there's been a whole bunch of new editions. Um, and this particular book looks like it was published in 1996. And it's quite the book indeed. It's pretty big. And I, I was sort of just kind of tickled picking this up. I got this for almost nothing and it's almost in perfect shape. And normally, I mean, there's a lot of how-to books out there from, you know, how to do a patio, how to fix wiring, how to fix plumbing. But I really, really like this book and I'll show you why. And the first thing is just sheer variety. I mean, it goes from tools, techniques, furniture repair, plumbing, small appliances, large appliances, uh, some basic repair basics, let's see, uh, yard work, sports goods, um, and home emergencies. But the main reason I like this is the diagrams. The diagrams in this book are excellent. Now, you're not going to find tons of details about how to uh, do each repair. It won't give you everything you need to know but it just gives you the basics. It gives you a general understanding of how things work here. Look, small appliances, vacuum cleaners, look at the diagrams in this thing. I mean, you may not be able to fix this uh, just by reviewing this book, but you could at least see the anatomy. You can kind of get the, the general understanding of how it was put together. Even here, here's a sewing machine. How many how-to many how books give you a diagram of a sewing machine or even a mixer. Look at this. Mixers. And it, it kind of gives you some general step-by-step, -step, you know, the most basic things that typically break in these kind of things. But it's the drawings that I'm most fascinated. Here's, here's a little uh, a carving knife for your kitchen. Uh, blenders, mixers. Here's, my gosh, look, a waffle maker. The anatomy of a waffle maker. These drawings are just coffee makers. These are just such excellent drawings. And then you could go to more traditional repairs from toilets to furniture repair. Look at this diagram, this little cross section of a chair here. You could fix springs. You can do some weaving on a chair. Some basic furniture refinishing. Even how to repair a broken plate. Do you like to camp? Well, here's some instructions how to fix a tent. And if you're a parent, this is priceless. Look at this. Doll and toy repair. Stuffed animals. Dolls and figures. Skates, wheels, balls. And don't forget about just the uh, small engine repair for a lawnmower. How about just a little hot tub whirlpool repair? And then you get some stove repair and some larger appliance repairs. How about if you have an old furnace? You can do some pictures here that kind of show you the anatomy. Central heating. Now this is something I like. Shavers. Your shaver ever break on you? Well here's some basic steps how to fix it. Oh come on, my grandmother used to have one of these. There's still some people out there that curl their hair this way. Of course fans. More fans. And here you go, pre-cell phones. You can repair your old landlines still have these. And just project after project after project. Now this book will give you a little bit on almost everything around your house. Not in great detail, but the pictures alone, the drawings, the diagrams are just priceless. So I would highly recommend picking this up if you ever find one. Maybe at a Goodwill or an old bookstore. Uh, you may not find one in such good shape. I was really lucky, but hey, grab it up. This is a fun book. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.